<laughs> well, I'm YouTube family, Margaret Nation up and running again. So you are one now. My brethren theory, my anonymous brethren, where the positive theory, when we tell you about, we call me up on the phone after me, ask the question on the channel. So why so many women, so many Jamaican women are get caught up in these multi-million dollar fraud schemes and these multi-million dollar fraud cases. Yeah, impositor theory. Yeah, if in theory is that basically the woman them no loyal and they are very selfish compared to the men. So them go out and them get what they want regardless of the, the family, regardless of the organization, regardless of the relationship. The woman them is all about themselves. That are the basic, that are the basic line and theory. So, me I think about it now, and me I formulate a theory on my own. Yeah, me think there's a little bit more nuance to what I'm saying. You get me? So, my theory would have formulated different than film theory. And I, it, it goes to the fact, to the modern fact, that the woman, the contemporary woman today, is much more independent, much more ambitious, much more driven and much more aggressive than the woman of yesteryear. Also, compared to the modern man, she's a much more ambitious human being, generally. Again, me have said generally because you don't know you have, have exceptions to every rule. But me think, me don't think it can be contested that generally the modern woman is much more independent, much more aggressive, much more assertive, much more driven, and she's much more focused and aggressive in going for what she wants and she's much less dependent on what other people carry come give them much more less dependent on men generally so as a consequence of that new headspace and that new attitude new man them tend to go overboard and I saw the frequent cases of the thing where we are talking about so me, me pass it that you know I mean uh, Put it forward as a fault of the modern woman, you know. May I explain, say, may I explain why the phenomenon that take place? Because that was what me that asked for, you know, some kind of explanation or theory. Yeah, my version theory of, of them being less loyal and more selfish is kind of simplistic or a simplified thing. Yeah, me think there's good reason for it, and it is for there's a paradigm shift in a how the modern woman sees herself and carries herself and represents herself yeah the, 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 the independent aspect of it i think that is what has pointed to the to the different attitudes in how they approach life generally yeah culturally you know women used to be a lot more dependent a lot more submissive a lot more servile you know them you know them day-to-day -day living nowadays woman is all about a, a confident, assertive, and aggressive woman who will go for what she wants. Now, that is, is, a, is almost like a byproduct of that new attitude now, where you find more of them more qualified now, more of them more women that go to college now and get first and second degrees compared to the man them. Yeah, more and more men up on the corner rub out them and make it, yeah, and get involved in all kind of little foo-foo dispute and gang activity and choppings and them kind of something there. You see what I said? The women them generally you know, I educate themselves and I, and I expose themselves and I assert themselves and 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 and, and, I, and I build the woman brand much more than the man them. Now as a result of that as me say now, as so now you see them get caught up in some more things. Yeah. Um and, and as me say I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. Well it's a bad thing from a moral standpoint. But in terms of of humanity and evolution and going forward, it good when a section of the, of the society, a section of humanity, who were marginalized and discriminated against for a long period, it good when them become more, more aggressive and more assertive and more, more forthright and more present and more represented of, of, of what equality should be. Some of the things is, is an awful thing. But this, 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 what my virgin ascribe as, as a lack of loyalty and selfishness, we, I, I look at it from another angle. As we say, it's a part and parcel of the modern woman. Should we rule it back and reverse the rules and make the woman them go back to be less assertive and less ambitious and more servile and submissive? No, we don't think so. And the world will never go back. That's so. 
not at the rate at which the woman them <laughs> a push forward, you know. And of course, me I tell you, say the man them a play right now the hands, you know, of the new movement, you know, because the man them a, the man them a elevate themselves as much, them not educate themselves as much, them not they, they, them not going to into into conventional professionalism as much. Man a seek smarter and shorter way, smarter, shorter and faster way for make living now. Women now. You know, I've gone a little bit more with the traditional means now. Having gone the traditional means of education and training and, and developing a skill and all of them, so you know, comes that aspect right now with them willing to tweak and bend the rules a little bit and get involved in all of them, something we are here about. <laughs> so, I said, you said. so, me basically, I said, is we are cheap in the analysis. My version of cheap in the analysis when him say, I just. Loyal them the liar. You get me I say, me take it deeper than that. And the sociological and social factors are cut deeper and more rooted in the action of the mother and woman. You remember I say, if you go morally, you know, everything wrong, you know. Because we not tell yourself what they are doing right and, you know, we not try to justify the new things what they are doing, you know. But we are, we are seeking an explanation. Because at one point, you know, when me throw the question, you know, me really and truly did flabbergasted, you know. As to why women seem to love money so compared to men. Because but but as me I explore it more and more, people are share them views with me. It uh, it uh, evolve as to why this new attitude that takes shape. Yeah. Because it has as it, it, it has as much to do with the attitude of the men, you know, and the reversal of the roles, you know, as it has to do with the new attitude of the woman, you know. Yeah, man, when you pray, man now we just said sure. No, I'm not this and no, I'm not doing that already and there and there. Yeah, and him do some little thing and him do some little, some little short term thing. The woman think, the woman them think a bigger picture things, you know. A bigger picture things, man. Look on the kind, the kind. Look on the magnitude of the discrepancy there. Where the woman them get caught up in. Look on the magnitude of that. A generational kind of change them, them thing they're going to find out. The man them take a little thing for them and them friend floss. You get me, I said to you, they want a little thing for them and them floss. And by the time the party, I wake up Sunday morning, them, them have to go do it all over again. The woman, them think a little bit more profound and them have to go harder. Yeah. But what do you think? Me don't know. <laughs> me don't think. Me think. Me think my theory more, it's more, it's more grounded. Yeah, in the true reality, what I want. In the nuance, what I want. My virgin theory kind of, kind of, Peripheral, it kind of, no, it kind of surface oriented. Yeah, big up my brethren, see. Uh, when you find a theory, they always said me thinking about a theory as well. So we come up with a theory, you know. Yeah, man, the modern woman is much more assertive, much more aggressive, much more independent, much more qualified, much more skilled. And as a result, they find themselves in a, in a position where they can affect institutions more and affect policy more and they might tweak all of them things to pursue themselves. Which is what human beings tend to do. It's just that it's become a little bit more conspicuous because of the fact that a mostly women are doing. You know, if a man did not do them something yeah, on a regular basis, nobody would be pointing to the gender of the person who do it as much. It's the fact that a mostly woman are doing it, you know, white has become so conspicuous, you know. Yeah, man, pretty thing, man. Pretty thing. Yeah. If a man do them teeth in there, you think if I point out to her, it's another man, you know, it's another man, it's another man. No, but the fact is a woman do it, which is kind of like, like a different from the norm. Then it becomes more conspicuous and becomes more spectacular because a woman do it. If a man do them something, nobody would say nothing. It would be like more of what was expected. Don't. <laughs> anyway, tell me what you think about the meeting. What do you think about my theory compared to my anonymous brethren theory? We're supposed to be asleep at the dog house right now. My brother's supposed to be asleep at the dog house right now. <laughs> because my brother's not at the dog house. <laughs> Tell me what you think about me think, Steve. Yeah, see it right away. Tell me what you think about me think. <laughs>